Hey guys, it's Madame Wario, and welcome to Mickey Speedway USA in celebration of my recent honeymoon with Odinspec. Um, thank you guys so much for joining uh, the past couple streams. It's been a lot of fun to get back to streaming as this is something I absolutely love and look forward to um, even in times away on vacation. Um, but because I'm still on that, that Disney that Disney high, if you will. Uh, I figured we'd play a little bit of a Disney game on my favorite console, the N64. And I haven't played much of this game in the past. And I just picked it up again recently um, and just kind of played through it uh, casually on one stream, just through one of the courses. So I figured this would be a fun one today. Um, plus, it's kind of a warm-up to another racing game that I just got, Diddy Kong Racing, and I've never played that. that. That will be the first time I've ever played that, so that'll be a lot of fun when we get to that as well. Um, but thank you for joining me. Let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet. Um, the N64 tends to blow people away, so I'm always kind of nervous when I adjust the volume. But anyway, welcome! Everybody who's in chat, we have Psycho Nacho Man. Welcome on in. Phoenix Warriors Tim Lauren, good afternoon. Startup 94, Armand 2017, V Bui. And we also have Narusonic 51, Casanova 64, welcome back. Um, the Rock, welcome, as well as Big Schlium is in the house. This music makes me feel like I should be doing plies. Oh my gosh, the Disney classical music. It's so pretty, but it definitely has plie vibes. Uh, Alan Edgehead, welcome. Yes, thank you so much for the mix. Thank you 
so much. You're I very big. much appreciate it. Thank you. What's the matter? Store wouldn't take your stolen credit card. Store wouldn't Madam take five your LOL. stolen credit card. Hey, it's almost that time of year, you guys. And by that time of year, I literally watch Home Alone all year long. But I watch it nonstop when it gets to be Christmas time. And we're getting closer. Um, thank you so much for the bits. I wanna. I have like some good makeover ideas for alerts for the fall, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've been trying to get more into like filming and creating content myself um, lately, and especially with the new video that just went up on my YouTube channel um, yesterday. It's it's actually mine and Onspec's honeymoon video. So if you want to kind of catch a little a uh, little sneak peek recap of all the things we did in Disney World on our honeymoon and all the parks we went to and all that, um, I put together a music video. I love to do this when I travel. But I put together a music video of everything that we did, and I have several music videos backlogged that I'm kind of more inspired to work on now and, and get finished as well. Oh, here comes Julie! Gosh, so excited. Yeah, she did. Oh, but she kind of nervous, because she's like, I'm not too sure. Yeah, she's like, Odie just refilled the cat bowls, and it was very exciting. Um... Alright guys, but anyway, yeah, check out that video if you're interested, um, it's the newest video on my channel, and uh, it kind of sums up what our honeymoon was like, and it was seriously one of my favorite trips ever, it was so much fun. So, oh, sh yeah, shout out to Refilling the Cat Bowls, you got a shout out from Psycho. <laughs> Alright, let's switch to the game. There's Big Goof, he's my favorite, so... Uh, he's the one I typically race as, although I have not played this game enough to say, like, hey, I have a main person. I really don't. I'll probably switch around. Goof is my, my go-to, because, again, he's my favorite, but I might try all the different racers, because I don't think I've raced with everybody before. Um, anyway. Oh my god, how could you not have Rumble Pack? I'm so sorry. I don't have Rumble Pack. Um, so this is... Mickey Speedway USA, it is a rare game, and by this little menu right here, you can kind of tell if you play Banjo-Kazooie, because there, tend there tends to always be this, like, hub bedroom area, which I love this. This is just nostalgic in its, uh, its own right. Even, like, not having grown up with this game, it still feels nostalgic. Like, oh man, I miss, I miss the days of the N64 being, like, the current console plugged into the big box television and... You had a TV in your room, you were cool, so, you know. Um, I didn't have a TV in my room forever because I wasn't cool, but then later when I was cool, I had that hot, uh, I actually, did I, yeah, I had a, I did have a box TV. I'm like, what the heck kind of TV did I have? I had my silver box TV. I actually have a photo hugging my TV while Inuyasha was on it as a teenager because I was just that cool. Okay, is this music okay, by the way? You guys? Um, and we have all the Fab Five characters. Actually, we don't. We don't even have the Fab Five here. We have four of the Fab Five characters. Um, if you've ever worked for Disney World or have ever seen like classic Disney merch that is sold in the parks, the Fab Five are Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Pluto's not here, so whoops. I guess it's not even the Fab Five. Daisy is sometimes added. Um, you know, she wasn't like part of the original Fab Five, but she's often added in. And Pete is like the nemesis. He's the oldest uh, villain in the Mickey Mouse world, so that's why he's often added. I really like his sprite in this, though. He looks super cute. Um, and then we have, we don't even have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. We just have Dewey and Louie. The way to remember their names, by the way, is Dewey, Dew is like water, so blue, and then Louie is like Luigi, green, Huey, it's the first hue in the rainbow, it's red, there you go. What? You unlock Huey by using transfer What? Well, shucks. Oh my god, do I have, I might have the Game Boy Color game, because I tried to, I got a transfer pack, and I like tried to 
get um, every, every... I tried to get the Game Boy Color game of all games that I had that used the transfer pack, so I actually might have this game on, on Game Boy, and if I don't, then I'll have to get it. But, you know. Um, think it's a, it sounds fine? Okay, good. A yellow N64 controller! I wish I had a yellow N64 controller. But anyway, we're gonna start off with Big Goof, because I was just talking about how he's my favorite, so we might as well start with him. And I didn't know what I was doing last time. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. It turns out it did make sense, and I just was not paying attention. So I'm gonna start with Amateur, because I don't... I'm not familiar with the controls for this super great, like, yet. N64 tends to be finicky. Um, I think I have a trophy on Amateur in two of these. Oh, I also have... Wait, how do I know what I have on this? Um, I feel like some of this data... I thought I erased all this data, but now it looks like I didn't because some of this is definitely not mine. Like, I have not played all of these before. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five cups to play through. I've... Okay, maybe I will play Intermediate just because I've already gotten the Amateur Trophy on this one. I'll just go in order. I would play as a Fab Five, but I'm... Apparently that's not a thing, so whatever. Maybe the kitties played it while you were gone. I mean, I know it... it... Whoa, starting out in Big Indie! Let's go! This is appropriate. Um, I think it's just like, you know, because it was used... Because it was used, I thought I... Erase the data, but I guess not, so whatever. It's fine. It might make my life easier when it comes to getting things. Also, look at how bad I'm doing. I'm literally on intermediate. How do I do things? Alright, so welcome to Indianapolis. This is supposed to represent the Indy 500 and the Indy 500 racetrack, which... I'm supposed to be in, like, Speedway, Indiana. Yeah, I know, Goof. We're not doing so well. Oh, what? No way! I rubber-banded right into that baseball or whatever. Okay, this might be... absolutely tragic. Anyway, uh, funnily enough, if you guys are familiar with Disney World at all, or even Disneyland, because this ride also exists there, there's like the... There's the Speedway in Magic Kingdom. So, there's the Speedway in Magic Kingdom. It's actually one of the only rides I've never been on in Disney World. It's one of like two rides I think I've never been on. Both of which are in Magic Kingdom. I've never been on that one, and I've never been on the Astro Orbiter, which is basically Dumbo, just way up way up high in Tomorrowland. Um, I just didn't realize it was a ride that I could actually go on when I worked there somehow. Um, so, I, th yeah, I don't even know. I uh, Plus, Tomorrowland's probably one of my least favorite areas in Magic Kingdom, just because it doesn't feel as magical, and you failed to qualify. Well, I'm sorry. I don't want to try again. I want to try a different track where I get to be an amateur. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. I need to place- uh, I need to try amateur on one of the other tracks, so I'm going to <laughs> not do this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go to a different track, because we already saw this, like, not that long ago anyway. Last place hype! So bad. Okay, I think I played these two. I played Motorway Mania, and I played... <laughs> I suck. I'm sorry. Next time, try to finish normal without losing. Oh my god, that's the biggest... That was the biggest slap in the face, that game. Being like, oh, try to do this without losing. Uh, thank you, Psycho. I appreciate the sympathy bits. Okay, all of these probably have a trophy on Amateur. I'm just gonna play this one anyway, because Freeway Phobia, I know we didn't play however many, two weeks ago, whenever we last streamed this. So what, the gold is not really gold? What's the pink trophy? Right, oh, it's the rainbow trophy. It means you were the best. Which is how it should be. Rainbow should be number one. Oh, Dakota! Not South Dakota or North Dakota, just 
good old Dakota, I guess. I have never been to North or South Dakota. I know that last time I played this, I was talking about whether I've been to... Oh no, I missed it! Whether I've been to certain places or not. Okay, how can everybody suck this much on amateur, but I was like the worst racer on the planet on intermediate. It's the next step up. Um, so after this track, I'll pick a different character. I'll race as somebody other than Goofy. I'm gonna win! Oh my god. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I've never been on the uh, speedway in Tomorrowland. Just because it, like, it's not quite go-karting. And it always had, like, a... I just feel like it took a long time to get on and get off and... I don't know. I, I just had other rides I'd rather go on, but... And like I said, the Astro Orbiter, I didn't even know it was a ride you could... I just thought it was a decoration. I didn't even know it was a ride until, like, the end of my program. Um, you know, I'm letting out a lot of slime here. Um... Oh, shoot. See, I barely even tried and I got first. Like, that's how different the difficulty is. Uh, you, when you went to Tomorrowland Speedway back in 2000, I somehow got way ahead of all the other people. With his crazy oh no, that sucks. Part about function. Scott, man, thank As you for the who has been to North and South Dakota, this is exactly what it looked like. It was super intent tent. Oh, I'm, I mean, it's very scenic, so like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like the game. Oh man. Why is there no music? It's so awkward without music. Thank you, Scott Man, for the bits. I yeah, I've never really been west anywhere except for California, which is as west as you can go. And even then I've only been to LA. Like I've not been to like the entire state of California or anything. Um Alright, so Pete is representing last place. How come they get to move on when they're in last, but I don't? Changing the map. Um. Yeah, after watching this game, you've basically been to North and South Dakota, obviously. Oh, come on. I was supposed to blast off. I've also never been to Seattle. I would love to go. Um, at some point. I really want to go to um, Orcas Island, which is just off the coast of Washington State, outside of Seattle. Um, for obvious reason, I whales are my favorite animal. Orca whales are like one of my favorite whales, and I refuse to see a whale for the first time in captivity. Obviously, that's stupid. I'm not going to support that. Um, look at how dark this track is. So spooky. Um, but anyway, that would be the way to see them in their natural habitat in like such a, it's just such a cool area, such a cool location. Oh, I keep running into this island. So yeah, that's where I really want to go in Washington State is Orcas Island. I'm not using my, oh sweet, I got Daisy. Wait, why are you up here, Pete? I thought you sucked. I think it's funny how, like, Pete started out as Mickey's enemy, Mickey's main villain, but he slowly became Goofy's main villain. Can you guys even see what's going on, by the way? This is very dark. Um... Hi, Jerry. I don't know. Uh, Odie just got Goldeneye, and he was playing one of the levels, and it was so dark he couldn't even like see what he was doing. And so I feel like there's an issue with my converter or something. That's what we're thinking. There's something wrong because it should not be this dark. Look at how dark it looks for you guys. You probably can't even see that, and it doesn't even look that way on my TV. Here, I'm gonna see if I can mess with cables really quickly. 
because it really shouldn't look like that. Did that brighten at all? Uh, okay, let's see. This is all a big web, which also is not helping. I give up. Uh, uh, straight, uh, straight, straight. Uh, uh, oh, oh, girl. Uh, uh, no pants, no pants. I don't know what to think about that. Thank I'm you I'm so much. Points, uh, but they're not your average points. <laughs> what the heck, Psycho? Oh my god! Really? Thank you so much! What the heck is this? I'm into the points, but they're not Thank you so much for gifting four subs. Um. I don't know why they're all playing individually. It doesn't usually do that. Thank you so much, Psycho, for the four gift subs. Um. All the boss to you, seriously. Thank you so much. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to just be like the one alert. But they're not your average points. And Snowy Satoru, thank you so much. Hey, I'm Dina. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Wait, was that not? You want to do hip hop? You got to stand like this. Why did it individually show them and then do this alert? I'll give them a bye. Peace. I'm out. I'm not really sure. I don't know why this is being funky. All right, well, we just got like four more alerts than normal, but thank you, Psycho. It's a sub I gifted yourself, I guess. Yeah, totally. Okay, it still looks really dark for you guys. Um, I'm gonna disconnect, reconnect. And I'm gonna have to, hold on. I need to, maybe, I mean, I don't know if it's just like that. Okay, hold on. I mean, that kind of looks better. I don't know. I'm not really sure why it's being funky. I'm gonna try and unplug it. I'm gonna try and unplug one thing. Okay, I don't know if that's any better. Uh, we'll see, but. It just looks so dark for you guys. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I just need a new uh, cable converter. Because I have like a converter for um, composite. Is it composite or component? Composite to HDMI. The, the level is like that for the most part. Blue Fire, welcome as well. Um, I guess, it's just super dark. I mean, I'm sure the level's dark, but, like, that dark? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Because even on my TV screen versus the screen for you guys, it looks kind of funky. I'm going to try one more thing. Hold on, you guys. So I'm going to deactivate this really quickly. So let me try one last thing. Um, now let's activate. I don't know if that fixed anything either. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just do what we can. It does look a, a little better on my end, but... I don't know, guys. Hopefully it looks okay for you. I'm sorry if it's kind of weird. Oh, New York! I've actually been to New York! Yay! Finally I, a city I've been to. Yeah, I keep messing up the, the speed boost at the beginning. Okay. Okay, we're in New York and we're literally in this grungy tunnel. Not really my thing, but... Um, by the way, I... Speaking of Disney stuff and Disney games, 
specifically. Um, there is no stream this Saturday because I already have family stuff going on, but next Saturday, possibly, ne well, actually, maybe not the Saturday after that, but what? One Saturday this month, let's just put it that way. Um, during community night, I want to have um, a Toontown stream, because I haven't streamed Toontown in a really long time. Um, and that would be a fun stream to do. It's It was originally Disney Toontown Online, now it's Toontown Rewritten, as it was taken over by other people when Disney decided they didn't want to mess with it anymore. Um, but I think that would be a fun community stream to do, because people can technically join in, and play, and I haven't played it in a really long time, and it would be fun to see what has changed, because apparently, I was talking to Slim Kirby about this, and he said that um, there's like a whole new area in Donald's Dock, like, or off of Donald's Dock in Chippendale Acres, Acorn Acres. So I think that's really cool, and... Oh no, am I going the wrong way? Oh my god, I don't know how to follow the street signs! No wonder I'm in six. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna play Toontown Rewritten one of these Saturdays. Toontown Rewritten's been around for several years, Blue Fire. Um, I can't remember when, um, when to Disney Toontown Online met its demise, but, uh, when did it, when did it end? Hold on. When did... Disney Toontown Online End. 2013. Um, so, Disney Toontown Online ended in 2013. Toontown Rewritten, I was there for the beta because it was like being worked on pretty much right after. Um, and Toontown Rewritten launched in... not when did Toontown I want to say it was like 2015 or something free written launch um okay cool now, October 28th, 2013, Toon Henry Written had its alpha release. Oh, so it was the same year. Yeah, so it was the same year. I don't think I really started playing. I don't think it it got out of beta until like 2015. So it took it a couple years, but yeah, it was pretty much like a direct continuation. Okay, I did terribly in New York. I'm sorry, guys. It's gonna be like, you did not qualify. All right, I gotta try this again. But yeah, I wanna do that for community night because it's free, people can make an account and join in, some of you already have accounts. Oh, there we go. I finally kinda made this work. But it's just a game I haven't played in a long time. And I actually have not played, I haven't really played any games outside of like, literally just now. Like, this is the first game I've really played since I got back from um, my honeymoon. So I have not played Fall Guys at all. I need to see what is going on in Fall Guys. But yeah, I was gonna play Toontown this week, but then I had, like I said, I had those, I had family stuff already on Saturday, so I'm like, well... Oh shoot, I guess I'm not doing that, you know. By the way, if you guys are part of my Patreon, um, I should have a new credits page by Friday. So there's no credits page for today, but there will be on Friday. There will be a brand new one for the month of September. And that being said, I need you to go on Patreon and vote for which, um, which Mario Party 8 board you'd like me to play on Friday because that poll is live as of yesterday, so check it out, be sure to vote. Um, I voted for King Boo's Haunted Hideaway because I figured this is going to be the last Mario 
Party 8 stream until after Halloween, so I was like, okay, we're getting into, like, fall. We're, we're really close to fall. Might as well play it now. Um, you know, might as well play Who's on and Hideaway now instead of waiting until later. Um, but, anyway, that's why, dang it, that's why I voted for that. What? Third? No way! I was in first the whole time that freaking baseball screwed me over. Oh man. Seriously? Dumb. Oh, thank you, Blue Fire. Appreciate it. So anyway, I... I was gonna do two Disney games this week. Scheduling didn't work out, but we do get Mario Party 8. I do recommend, um, playing... Or, I do recommend play. I do recommend voting if you are part of Patreon. And if you aren't part of Patreon, you don't really know what it's about, um, check out the page because for as little as $1 a month, you can be part of those polls. Hey, I've been to Chicago too. Check out Big Coggy. I'm still in the same race. I guess so. So many tracks. I still don't know how I did this badly. You know, this doesn't look like Chicago to me. I don't remember being in, like, a tunnel the entire time. I don't remember the Chicago sewer. Aw, oh, jeez! Oh, Mickey, why are you such a weirdo? Yo, shout out to Chef Mickey. So good. I want that breakfast again. Ah, there's a wall! Am I going the wrong way? Dang it. I'm gonna have to start over, probably. Where are we going? I don't know where I'm going! Pixie! I'm telling you guys, Chicago did not look like this. Chicago really didn't look like this when I was there. I didn't go through the sewer. So it did not help me with this game. I don't even know where I'm going. Why is this called Chicago? Got the shield for all the crazy drivers around me. Ooh, I found like a shortcut, kind of. Not really. Ooh, question! The game's like, we don't know where you are, but you're you're still in last. This is not what Chicago looks like. Not what it looked like at all when I was there. I really can't tell where I'm going at all on this one. Okay, I don't think I'm far behind these guys now. Because it showed them all go across the finish line not that long before I crossed. Oh, yeah, oh! Okay, I see her. I see Minnie. I'm invincible, but what does that help me? Dang it, I should have gone in the secret space. Get these people out of here. Now I'm nervous, because if I screw up. Ah! Oh! Okay. No! Dang it, it didn't even run into them! How? Dang it. Okay, well, I did redeem myself a little bit. I mean, I went from 6th to 3rd. So it wasn't the worst ever. I could have ended up dead last by a mile, but... Listen, I did okay. 
Oh boy. Was that the last track? I know there are like a lot of tracks in these. Man. Okay, I'm still in first though. Okay, are we going anywhere else? Or is it just the award ceremony? Yay! We did it! We didn't do as great as I would have liked, but we still came out first place. So I can't complain too much. I can't, I mean I can, but... Yeah, suck it, third place Mick. So maybe the gold trophy is when you didn't place gold on every track, and the rainbow trophy is when you place gold on every track. Yes. I answered my own question before I even saw it. Yeah, so gold is literally like, hey, I didn't first- I didn't place first on every track. So we, that's what we need to try and do. Although we don't need to try very hard, because apparently this rainbow trophy has already been unlocked. Um... The professional is the only one that doesn't have a rainbow there. Um, wow, literally just amateur. Which I did get the rainbow on both of those last time, so I'm disappointed I didn't get it on um, Freeway Phobia. Okay, I'm gonna switch my character because might as well. Rainbow demands perfection, I guess. Alright, we played as Big Goof. Um... Daisy's my favorite lady, so maybe we'll play as her next. How do I look? How do I look? Alright, I love Daisy. She's so cute. So we're gonna play as her. We're gonna go to Victory Vehicles. These names are really funny. And we're gonna go for the rainbow. It looks like I have a rainbow and amateur and professional, but somehow not intermediate. However, I'm not familiar with these tracks, so I need to try and do amateur anyway. Thank you, Stardev. Thanks for the lucky bits. Alright, we'll see how uh, Daisy controls compared to Gucci. Why did everybody look like they just went to the side? Wait, where are we? What? What? Where am I supposed to be right now? I didn't read where we were. I guess the coin system works. Kind of like in Super Mario Kart or Mario Kart 8. I don't really know though. I'm just honking at people. Uh. <laughs> Donald just so pissed in sixth place. Yellowstone. Okay, I've never been to Yellowstone. I was like, I've got to be in some kind of nature nature -y sort of area or park or something. But. Yeah, I've never been to Yellowstone. It's another place I'd like to go someday. I'm in first place! Ah! Getting all the good daisy items. Woohoo! Alright. That one wasn't as hard, which was nice. Are the stones there yellow? According to this game, the road is yellow. The stones? Who knows? I don't even know where Yellowstone is! Pixie! It's out west. Again, I have not been... The most... The the furthest west I've been, not including California, because that's like all the way, but like in between California and Indiana, the furthest west I've been is like Missouri. And it was like, I went to Branson, Missouri, and that is like the most boring town on the face of the earth, so I would never need to revisit Branson ever again. My impression of Missouri was very, uh, cool. 
Um, you know, I need to go to a different city in Missouri to truly, I need to go to like St. Louis. Washington, D.C. Now, I have been to D.C., however, I haven't been like, I, I haven't been able to like walk around D.C. and tour D.C. Um, in the typical way because I've only been, I've only been to D.C. because I've been to uh, Maryland for MAGFest in like a fake town called National Harbor and it's right outside of DC. Oh, look at us going through the White House. Um, oh, this is cute. Oh, I like this one. This is so cute. This is so different from the other tracks. We're not in the freaking sewer of Chicago. Um, but anyway, but I did get the, uh, we did have, um, our driver from the Gaylord Hotel to the airport. I think the, one of the, not the last time I went to MAGFest, but the time before, um, which was years ago now. I mean, that was like back in 20, it would have been 2017. So this would have literally been like right after Odie and I started dating. So that was over five years ago now. But anyway, um, our driver from the airport, or from the hotel to the airport gave us a tour of DC. He was like, oh, do you want to go like, would you like me to like take you around to see some like city on your way? And we were like, sure, whatever. He was super cool. And it wasn't like he was like, oh, give me more money for doing this. Like he... He didn't, like, charge us more anything. He was just like, oh, yeah, like, that'd be... Uh, why don't I... You guys didn't get to see any of this. Like, I'll show you. There's a way to get to the airport through the city that... Um, you can at least see some of it. What? You ran into me with a plane! Okay, that's sus bush. I need to try and go through it next time. Unless this is my final lap, which I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, so that was super fun, super nice of our driver to do that. We got to see, um, some things. Obviously not everything you can see from the road, but we did get to see some, uh, some recognizable little landmarks and stuff from the road. I can't even remember what all we saw now, but, um, it was just nice to go through the city. Like, it was just, it, you know, I love, like, old school, um, dang it, I never got to check out that bush! I love, like, old uh, New England cities and areas, and just, I love New England in general, and, um, so to see D.C., and it's in that same, like, style of architecture and everything, it's just really cool. Like, the old, old America, I guess, is very interesting to me. Um, you could say, like, oh, New York is old America, too, but it's, like, it's such a giant city that it's just, like you know, the ultimate city vibe, as opposed to, like, it does have some of that, like, old architecture, but it's just, it's harder to see, because it's so big. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know, but, and I'm just speaking as a tourist, you know, I've never, like, lived in any of these places or anything, it's just, and I've been to, I've only been to New York once, I've only been to DC once, in a car, you know, but it's just, like, really, even driving through, though, you, you know if you've ever gone on a road trip, like, you can see some of what an area has to offer, even just in a car, which is really cool. And I didn't look at where we are. Is this supposed to be... Uh... Okay, there's too much water for this to be what I was going to guess. Where are we? Everglades? Okay, well, where are the Everglades? Mickey! Mickey, I'm honking my horn at you. Come on. In for- Oh, okay. I've never been to Southern Florida. In Florida near Miami. I was like, is it- If I had to guess, I'm like, it's kind of swampy. I'm like, is this in Louisiana? No. So. Uh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I've never been to Miami. I've never been- I've actually never been south of Orlando in Florida, so... 
didn't even know where the Everglades were. I'm like, oh. Uh... Yeah, I'm tired of honking at people. When am I gonna get an item? Second. Now I can't get my rainbow trophy. Ugh, man. <laughs> kind of fun to guess where the heck you are. I guess it is. Like, see how well the game does. I would have never guessed I was in Chicago based on the sewer. So, might not work for all the tracks, but some of them. I knew we were somewhere swampy. That was about as far as I got. I'm so disappointed. Man. Anyway. LOL plushie don't don't know gold this time. You know, I really didn't Dang! We just drove over the water. Like, okay, driving over the Gulf Coast, I guess. Um, I Everglades was pretty accurate. Well sweet. Anyway, yes, I my next my current dono goal is LOL plushies because I didn't know what else to make it and I know I had talked about like going uh, squishmallow hunting and I'm like I don't know. I, I didn't know what else to set it as and I um, it had been the honeymoon fund and now our honeymoon is over. Obviously we still have funds that we need for um, certain legal stuff but we haven't gotten the information on what is next financially so like you know, if I were to set a goal for that, I would need to kind of know more. So right now we just have a, a vague, you know, understanding of like, hey, we're gonna have to do this. But we, you know, luckily because of the generosity of not only you guys, but our friends and family, you know, we shouldn't have to worry about it. So I was like, I want to have something, some kind of fun, smaller goal, but wasn't sure what to do. So LOL plushies it is. Because there aren't even any games or anything coming out other than Pokemon, and that's already... Um, I already did a, a goal for that forever ago that was met, and that's already paid for, and... So that's just a matter of whenever it comes out. Um, and, you know, I could do another, like, game fund for game chasing. Um, for other titles that I may find out in the wild of... Uh, retro titles, but I don't have anything super specific in mind. The main thing that I had in mind before was Diddy Kong Racing, and I just got that. Um, and I did just get Hey You Pikachu as well, so it's like, you know, I already got those. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what else. It's hard to know until you see something. I guess that's why that kind of a goal is nice, because... Then it's like, if you just see something and you're like, Oh my god, I didn't realize this existed, or I forgot all about this game, I never had it, whatever. Like, it's nice to have that little nest egg to work with, but... I guess because I've gotten several games recently that were on my list of games I wanted to get... It makes it a little harder to, to think of what else is out there that I'm, like, wanting to play on stream. Okay, and this is supposed to be... Is, is this supposed to be Miami? Is that what that said at the beginning of this? No, because we're in California now. We're not in Florida anymore, so where is this? It didn't say Miami. What did it say? Malibu. That's what it said. I was like, it was an M. Have I been to Malibu? 
I went to several beaches in Southern California, and I don't remember if Malibu was one of them. I want to say no, because I think it was a little bit too far from where where I was in LA. I don't know. I don't think I've been to Malibu. Plus, it was so long ago now, I don't even know that I'd remember, because it was like we went to several beaches once for a couple hours, like we didn't spend like days there or get a hotel or anything. So, yeah, never been to Malibu. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know! I don't even know if I've been to Malibu! I haven't. There's no way. I, I would remember. I know I've been to Venice Beach. So I'm pretty sure I would also know if I've been to Malibu. Aw, Keith! Oh, Mickey. Okay, well that was easy. Everybody was trailing behind. You got Kirby in the Forgotten Land, so next I need Persona 4 Ultimax! Ooh! Kirby in the Forgotten Land is so good. Yeah, plushies, more card openings. That's another one. I could always do a Pokemon card fund because it's always fun to do stuff with Pokemon cards and I do use them for more than just like collecting and playing and trading. I do use them for like projects and other things. So that would be another good idea for a fund. LOL plushies though could go to Pokemon stuff as well. So all that Halloween stuff, you guys. I really want to go Squish Mallow hunting. I already did this a little bit. Uh, why are we going this far away in our road trip? We're going from one corner of the U.S. to the other. Like, that's not really a smart road trip. And we're not stopping anywhere along the way. Oh, never mind. That was the end. I was like, uh, we're going all the way up to, like, Maine or Vermont or what the heck are we doing? I couldn't tell because Scrooge McDuck's face was in front of it, but apparently we were just going to his face. That's what we were doing. Alright, well now I didn't get a rainbow because I came in second once to Goof. He betrayed me. How could he? Why does this trophy look different though? Why is it all round? The other ones were little flags. I don't understand this game enough. How come it was not a flag? How come it was a round thing? Okay, Frantic Finale is the only course we have played. I'm gonna switch characters again. I kinda wanna be Pete. Cause he's so cute. He's got his little hipster hat on, but he's all bulbous. So like, it's kind of a vibe. I know, just taking my rainbow away. Like, come on now. Frantic Finale, tri Time Trial, and Select Mode, which I don't need to do. Alright, we're gonna do Frantic Finale next. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's right, he's chasing the weasels. I was like, I kind of forgot about the story. That makes sense that they wouldn't, like, stop for a fun road trip now. Necessarily. Okay, Amateur's just gold. Everything's just gold. Oh shoot, that's not good. Maybe. Woo! Excuse me! Woo! Hawaii! Dang, how'd we drive all the way out here? Alright, I would love to go to Hawaii. You guys know this. This was our- this was mine and Odie's original honeymoon destination. But, it was about like five times more expensive than what we thought and uh, I'm serious you guys to go out go, to go to Hawaii and stay for one day plus flights I'm not even joking was the same cost seriously the same cost for a day with flights and all that as going to Disney World for eight days the same cost I was like and that's like hotel, park tickets, flight. Like, I'm serious. It would have been like, I think we looked and we were like, okay, we could do like three or four days. And it was like thousands of dollars. And it would have been like, a, it seriously would have been like over a thousand dollars a day. I'm like, 
Well, maybe we're not going to do this yet. Maybe we're going to wait until we're, like, doing a little bit steadier financially in the future. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. Like, the, the price of it compared to going on a full week-long... Really, like I said, it was eight days. It wasn't like, oh, we, we left seven days. Shoot! Seven days later. Um... Eight day vacation, parks, hotel, um, you know, flight, all that was cheaper. And it's like, we also got some perks and, you know, food. Why is there a volcano erupting in the middle of this? Food, um, souvenirs, all that. And it was still cheaper than like two days in Hawaii. <laughs> So, Hawaii, why are you so expensive? You know, you only get one honeymoon, so it's like, I don't, I didn't want to get, I didn't want like a short little tiny, I didn't want like the shortest honeymoon in the entire world that you spend just as much time getting there as you spend there. Like, that's not, I wanted like a full vacation, so. Oh my gosh, but I'm so glad we did Disney World, and I'm so obsessed with our trip we just went Like, I'm still, like I said, I'm still on that Disney high. It was just such a fun trip. There are way too many corners. Yes. Also, these coconuts would not be this hard to drive over. I'm sorry, but... Freaking coconuts? Oh, that's why, because I'm pressing the wrong button. No wonder I suck. I'm do this again, probably. Now that I actually know how to race. It was too late now. No! Okay, well, I'm not going to get a rainbow already, because I already messed up. David Alexander Music, thank you so much. And welcome... I'm gonna be so mad if I do really well at all of the other courses. And I messed up this one. Woo! I was pressing the item button instead of the like, um, what's it called? Instead of doing like the curved turns, I was just pressing the wrong button. Doing like the hot skid, I guess. Alright, we're in Oregon. I've never been to Oregon. So, I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys how accurate this is. Oh my god, was there a shortcut over there? Okay, the way Pete controls, I'm not really a fan of. Oh my god, how am I supposed to go on this narrow AF bridge? There's no way! Oh, this is why no one's gotten a rainbow trophy on this before. It's impossible. I'm not good enough with Pete for this. If I'm invincible, it doesn't matter. No one's even around me. That seems like it's a little bit of a speed boost. Oh, dang it, it wasn't a shortcut. I really thought it was. What? No way! I guess, yeah, Dewey acts like Lack Lakitu in this game. Also, that is Dewey. Dewey is the blue one. Um. No! This track is way too hard. Like, I'm never gonna catch up to these people. 
I can't even like hold the A button down. I can't. Man, and I just wasted that. I just went right into the wall. Oh. All right, I need to check for after this. I'm gonna check and see if I have the Game Boy cartridge of this to see if we can get. Dude. Oh my god, Dewey, get out of here! Um. Dumb. Is this like their final placement? Like, I. I can't! Oh my god, no! How am I supposed to do this? Lurk for mystery food? Enjoy your mystery food, psycho. Uh. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it... Blue fire? It's very true. I can see that. Look at this. Look at how bad my lap was. Uh, there's no- I can't even get over this bridge! Man. Alara Rose, welcome to the stream. Yes, that bridge- I can't even- I don't even know how to get over that bridge without just failing immediately. Alright, well. I may just have to- if I can't do this, I may just have to try this course with a different character altogether. It kind of looks like- you know what I, I like about Pete's outfit? He kind of looks like he's wearing the uh, Tower of Terror uniform. Which is super cute. Like, I can't believe that you can't even fall off this bridge. Yeah, I got big. Alright, I didn't fall off that time, so practice is apparently paying off. I don't even care if I get... I don't care if I don't get first. I just want to place so that I don't have to do this again! I guess this is the final Grand Prix, so it's obvious that it would be the hardest, right? It's too nerve-wracking. I didn't even get an item. Dang it! I was so close! I think I'm just gonna have to be extra careful on that because there's no way. And it's so close to the finish line. That's right, Goofy. You know if the Drifting's helping me right now. Oh my god, why? So much happening in one spot. I got third. I'm happy. I don't care. It's fine. Anyway. We're never visiting Oregon ever again after this. Well, Oregon's full of- well, all I learned from this is that Oregon's full of bridges that if you fall off, that's it. Like, done. You lose. Alright, well. I'm in third. I'm tied for third right now. I'm not doing so great, but I'm trying. Looks like we're going to Texas. I've also never been to Texas, so whatever this is. Oh, it's just the whole state of Texas. It's not even 
I mean, I guess we went to Oregon, and that was just the entire state of Oregon as well. So here we go. We're going through the entire state of Texas. Which I've also never been to. Oh, Whoa! Let's go! Juju girl! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, raiders! Thank you so much! I appreciate the raid so, so much! Uh, Juju girl and friends, welcome to the stream! I'm sorry, I will have to look at chat in uh, just a second to say hi to everybody. We are playing some... Mickey Speedway USA, which I, this is like my, technically my third time ever playing this, so I'm not, not so great at it, because I'm not so familiar with it, but let me pause so I can say hi to everybody, thank you so much for joining, I'm Madame Wario, I am a variety streamer here on Twitch, also very partial to crafting, crocheting, and chatting, um, and very partial to Nintendo, thank you so much for the follow, Oki2290, and thank you Juju Girl for the raid. We've got Dungeon Do, uh, Sleuth Man Plays, Juju Girl, the one and only. And you were just playing, oh, Retro. Oh, what were you playing? What all were you playing? Mystery One, Zero Inferno Phoenix. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. I really appreciate it. And welcome, guys. Welcome. Sleuth Man Plays, thank you so much for the follow. Power to Mario, welcome. Welcome to the stream as well. Oh my gosh, Super Mario Bros. 3 is my favorite NES game and my first video game ever. So, Frog Hack. Oh my gosh, I've never played any of the hacks. Um, I've never played any of the hacks. My husband plays Randomizer a lot, but... Um, Oh my gosh. So what's the, is the frog hack just like, you have to be a frog in the entire game? Like, I don't know that I've ever seen it. It was my first time ever playing a hack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also giving it a bop for Dungeon Doo. Um, oh my god, that'd be so hard on some of those levels. Dang. Uh, but, oh my gosh, that sounds like both a, a blast and a cursed time, I'm sure. You must play in the frog suit and it's instant kill! Oh my god, though. No. That'd be so, so hard. Oh, that's hilarious, though. Um. Um. Also, Mr. Mecha Anime, welcome to the chat. Uh. You joined a gym and said to the trainer, I want to impress beautiful girls. Which machine should I use? Try the ATM outside, he said. Oh my god, no! 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 Probably you pretty true. It. Anonymous <laughs> cheer! Thank you so much for the 500 bits! Oh my god! Also, um, I have a very, uh, very cursed fire record with The Sims 2, as you saw on that alert. It happens all the time. And it's always on stream, and I don't understand it. Smoking. Thank you so much, though, you guys. Thank you for sticking around, um, for joining the Strem de la Strem. I really appreciate, um, you coming by, and like I said, uh, Juju Girl bringing your community over here. Alright. We are- where are we? I don't even know where we're driving right now. Texas. We are driving through Texas as Pete, which is not the easiest character to control, as I've found out. This is also the hardest Grand Prix in the game, because it's the last one. Um, so I kind of suck, but it's okay. I'm getting there. I'm just playing on, like, the lowest difficulty to get familiar with the tracks. You know, I gotta build up my confidence before which I'm still in last place, even as lowest, so that's really unimpressive, but that's okay. We'll get better. We will get better. How was at the end? Where am I? Oh, I am at the end. Okay, they're not that far ahead of me. There's still hope. There's still hope, you guys. Um... Oh my gosh! Almost flew off the track. Okay, if they're not that far ahead of me, then where are they? 
Also, you guys, I just got back, if you're new here, I just got back from my honeymoon in Disney World, so I'm kind of on like a Disney, a Disney high right now because it was so much fun, such an amazing, truly magical trip. Um, so I was like, we gotta play some, some Disney stuff. And, um, this game was actually a gift from my good friend Pixel Bloom, who's somewhere here in chat. Wow, I suck. And I haven't played it, uh, a ton, because I didn't grow up with this game or anything, and I didn't even know it existed until several years ago, but... Big Diddy Kong Racing energy in this one, and PTM! I just got Diddy Kong Racing, and I need to... I'm gonna play it probably... probably next week. I'm gonna play it. Speaking of Texas, I just got a, a scam call from Texas. Ugh. Oh, I hate spam calls. They suck. Um... Oh my gosh, she played Disney Magical World Tour recently, not bad, but too fast. I, I've i played Disney Magical World, I've never played Magical World Tour, but I absolutely love Disney Magical World. It's, um, I feel like not enough people know about the game, but if you like simulation, um, or, har you know, Animal Crossing-ish, Harvest Moon, more Harvest Moon probably, style game but with a little adventure oh my god disney magical world is so good and i know they just they re-released the second one and it's pretty much an exact you know it's not like they upgraded it or anything it's like the same game on switch they just released the second one on switch not long ago nothing but retro thank you for the follow um they just released the second one on switch not too long ago I like the first one better, personally, but you can only play it on 3DS, I'm pretty sure. So it's probably easier to play the second one, but... Um, right, Rare did make this too, so that's probably why it has such similar vibes. I don't know if it plays similarly at all. Um, I grew up with Mario Kart 64. I never had Diddy Kong Racing or Mickey Speedway USA, so I really can't say whether or not... Um, you know, this controls like Diddy Kong Racing, but thank you for the follow as well, Raphael, yes. Um, but I can say that I am just a little bit more familiar, well, a lot more familiar with the controls for Mario Kart 64, just based on muscle memory. Now, have I played Mario Kart 64 a ton since, like, recently, or like I did as a kid? No. As a kid, I played it, like, every day. You know, it was just, like, a very staple game in my childhood that I was always playing. But, you know, when, like, time goes by and you haven't played those games as much, like, you kind of lose your touch a little bit. I'd have to get back to being as good at it as I was. But the one thing I do have going for me in those games is I'm at least from- Oh, come on! I'm at least familiar. I'm at least familiar with the tracks. I just realized they were all jumping over my head and I was way far behind. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this Grand Prix, you guys. I might run out of tries. Because I am like a hundred miles behind everybody. Yeah, I gotta stay optimistic like Daisy. She's like, I'll catch up. Alright, I see them. I feel better when I can see them, because that means they're not too far ahead. It's almost the exact same thing that happened last time. Why is everybody so much faster than me? Oh my god, I need some good items. Oh, I wasted! No! Oh, this is so embarrassing. This stupid plane doesn't help me. Well, crap. Um. Anyway. Aw, thank you so much, Raphael. Yes, I, I big appreciate. Um, and nothing but retro welcome to the chat as well. Uh, 
Favorite Kart in Mario Kart is SNES, but 64 rocks too. Super Mario Kart, that's where, where I started. That was my... It was the first Mario Kart, and it was also my first Mario Kart. Because I got it... I got the Super Nintendo for my fifth birthday. My sister and I combined our birthday gifts to get Super Nintendo together. So I was five when I got that, and then my birthday's in October. So a couple months later for Christmas, we got Super Mario Kart. Oh no! You failed to qualify! Game over! Okay, I need to play with a different character. Game over, yeah! Didn't we see the arcade for that? What what game is that that does game over, yeah? USA? Yeah, we saw the ar we saw the arcade machine for that in Disney World. Uh, game over, yeah! <laughs> My birthday is October 14th. And I think I know somebody with a birthday on almost every single day in the month of October. Like, a ton of my friends are all October babies. <sighs> you know, apparently uh, February's a pretty boring month for people. <laughs> okay, I got a game over. I need to see if I have the... Mm, okay, I need to see if I have Mickey Speedway USA on Game Boy Color to see if I can get... Huey. Um, what is this, though? Like, can I pick any track this way to practice? I don't know what I'm doing right now. No, I don't want to just practice anything. Oh, it's just like a generic practice. No! Alright, let's not do that then. Um, I have the same with June. I know like eight people with June birthdays. Yes, I'm sure I can quit, quit this practice. Um, so the last track was Colorado and it's the most brutal track ever conceived. It's the reason it took me, <clears throat> whoa, my voice is going out. It's the reason it took me years to beat this game. Oh man. Okay. Well, maybe we're not missing much then. Um... But yeah, I know like so many October babies. So many. Everybody's born in October, apparently. Even though they say August is the most popular birth month. All right, so far we've raced as Goofy, my fave, Daisy, my chick, and Pete, which didn't really do us any favors. But I think that was more the course than his fault. Um, so I guess we'll try Mickey. Maybe I should- I've already done a duck, a dog, and a cat. I guess we need to do a mouse, finally. So, and Mickey's just like, totally balanced. You know what I'm gonna do though? I am gonna go see if I have um, that cartridge for the Game Boy really quickly. So I will be right back, you guys.
Okay. I am back, you guys. I have... Shoot, sorry. I have the transfer pack. I have the game. There apparently needs to be data on it. I don't know if there is. So I guess we're gonna find out. Um, I've never even done this. I've never done this before, so there it is. We're gonna see how this works. Ooh. Um, anyway, welcome back to Mickey Speedway USA. Thank you for the Jigglypuff bits, Psycho. And Big 38 Naf, welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Okay, I don't know how to do this, so I have to- I turn the game I off. I turn it off. And then... And then put the transfer pack in. Put the transfer pack in. How do I... Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. There we go. Look at that. Hot. And then, and then turn, turn it on. on. <laughs> I imagine. This is my first transfer pack experience, you guys. Um, wait, so I have to play the game with this transfer pack in my controller? Probably just to unlock at first. Okay. Um. Shoot. Alright, here we are. We're back. Mickey Speedway USA 2000 Disney. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Get past the intro. I don't have Rumble Pack. Okay, so now what do I do? I'm excited. No, no one's there. This is a prompt is supposed to come up. So what? Maybe you don't have uh, data on. The I don't have data. The oh, what? So I have to put. What do you mean? Like I have to have like a saved game on? Yeah. There's no saved game on my. Possibly. But. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't an end. This isn't the end of the line. Well, that's Mickey Speedway USA in the transfer pack. That makes this racing Yeah. I mean, I guess we could play it and make data and then see if it works. That's what I looked up. So. What? Come on! They jipped me out of my experience! Okay, hold on. I gotta get the, uh, the disc. I'm gonna make this work. Okay, so I have this really beat up... Game Boy Player Disc. We're gonna try something. Okay, guys, hold on. Hold on now. All is not lost. Okay. Uh, except I need a controller. System settings yeah, were lost. Once you once you, um, I, I don't know, remember when the clock was like 2100 or whatever? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently once you just start up the game, uh, and you get past the title screen, it should like immediately go to it. Okay. Um, this disc is like the most broken disc on the entire planet, so we'll see if it works. Why does Huey have to be like this? I don't know, I'm boycotting- <laughs> What a specific character to unlock? You can only unlock Huey. Oh, how <laughs> stupid. Is. That's who's in. <coughs> Do you have a Game Boy player disc? Not on me. Oh crap. My this this could take a few tries, you guys. I'm down here. I just you know. Oh what? Come on. What I usually do... How do I do this? Um, <laughs> like, I usually just go to the menu, like, the GameCube menu. Uh -huh. Like, you don't have to turn the GameCube off. But it says it can't be read! I know, but you can hit eject right on your GameCube and it should take you to the menu. Okay. Yeah, so now go up to gameplay. 
And if it doesn't, just like take it out and put it back in and just kind of keep doing that until it decides to <laughs> okay. read it. Okay. This, this is so messed up. This was me recording Metroid Prime because my GameCube just refuses to read discs anymore. Ugh. Um, this so, disc is genuinely like yeah, cursed. Yeah, well, my though. GameCube it's is so just bad. cursed. It's so bad. It doesn't like to read discs anymore. So I remember doing this over and over and over again until it finally decided uh. to read it. The good thing with the Game Boy player is once it does read it, this disc is just a boot disc. So yeah, once, like... once it gets past it, it doesn't need the disc anymore. Uh. This, is, this, is a, this is a DRM disc. Um, we did also, oh, oh, okay, sweet. Woo! Okay, we did it. The last course we did ceiling was, uh, the finale, but we only made it to Texas and then we lost. So I was like, okay, I suck. Okay, cool. Look at how cute this is. Now we're seeing the retro version. Why does it look like this, though? I'm English from England. This should help. Um. Oh, shoot. Look at this! Yeah, well, what the heck? Until it reads my transfer pack? Yeah. Okay, well. The transfer pack is finicky. I remember playing Pokemon and it wouldn't immediately read the game. Turn it off and on Okay. This is like RC Pro Animal. Look how different this looks. This makes sense because they can wear a RC Pro And I am absolutely terrible at this. Yeah, this is very RC program. I grew up with RC program. Yeah, I did because people. I remember back when I did Let's Play, somebody asked like, "Oh, have you ever? Do you have any rare games?" And I was like, "I don't know." Turns out I did, but I didn't. I didn't know it. I mean, my little like churro car. Man, this snow is bouncy. Okay, so I just have to try the transfer pack again. So badly. Okay. It'll take you to a different. Okay. Um, shouts to snow in Montana, by the way. The thing Montana's famous for! I literally only own this game for the transfer pack collection. Because like I said, I wanted to have all the, um, all the games that can use the transfer pack on the N64 that I have. I wanted to have their Game Boy counterpart. This is cute. I mean, this is very cute. It's extremely finicky, but it is cute. So I just, I want to finish just one track and then have it tell me, like, wow, you were terrible. Um, yeah. Well, it makes it fun. It makes you have, like, unlockable stuff. Like, I have Mario Golf 64 and Mario Golf on um, Game Boy Color. I also have Mario Tennis on Game Boy Color with Tennis on 64. You have to, like, actually beat things in the Game Boy Color version to, like, have them on the ins to have transfer data on the N64, which I have not done. Um... Alright, well, I sucked. Um, but that's okay. Okay, at least we know there's data on here now. So I'm gonna switch back, so give me a moment to do this. And I'm gonna take the transfer pack out and try it again. Yeah, take the game out, take the, well, I mean, obviously take the game out, take the transfer pack out. 
transfer pack out. How do I get the transfer pack out? There's a button on the bottom. It's not doing it though. You should just be able to press it on it and then pull the transfer pack out. I can't do it! Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, cool. Now I'll try this again. <laughs> now try for a trophy! Okay, so it's supposed to prompt me at some point? Yeah, it should. after you press start on this screen, it, it should uh, take you to like some other lab. Okay. I need to go to the lab, guys. Also, the transfer pack may not have been pushed all the way in. After this screen. Okay. It says Rumble Pack. No, it, it would have. I, I watched the video. It what? Been. It would have already popped up? Could it be my controller? Like, should I try with an actual N64 controller? Oh, is that like. I maybe? mean, it has the compatibility for it, but. Maybe, maybe, maybe that controller doesn't have compatibility for transfer pack. It does, though. Did you use it before? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I mean, I'll try. It probably does. It, I would be stupid if it doesn't. I, you know, it's good to eliminate uh, problems like that. All right, all right, you guys. The thing is, you you don't need to have that in once you have the one on. So you'll be able to use your real controller and stuff after. Okay, okay, I'm putting the transfer pack. Okay, that felt a lot more promising, just the way it went in just now, so maybe... <laughs> so much trouble for this character! I know. Alright, maybe it, I mean, it, there is a possibility that this only has, like, Rumble Pack compatibility? I don't know. So, we'll, we'll have to, you know... If it doesn't do it, I'm gonna be sad, though. Okay, start. Here, moment of- What?! It's the- it's not doing it still! I mean, that's just what happens. The transfer pack is finicky, But why is it finicky? Ah, guys, all I want is Huey. It's not, it's not good technology. But I need it to work. Ah. Uh. I know, I'm, why is it not Pluto? It's not one of the Fab Five. Instead, they're like, oh, you know who we should have the unlockable character be? Huey. Totally who everybody's been waiting for. It was. It would come it up. Would do it before. Yeah. Like I said, I watched a video. It would do it before. Are you serious? Are you sure you're not just making this up? Watch the video. But why? Like I watched the video of someone doing it. What? Do I? Maybe I have it in there wrong. Like, is it supposed to go a different? No. No, it's definitely in there, right? Okay, I'm gonna give it one more try, and if it doesn't work, guys, we're gonna just. Yeah, say screw it to Huey and we'll have to figure it out later. Um I'm to help. I'm sorry. I know. I think the most hilarious thing about the Huey thing is that you have to do this specifically to complete the trio. Oh. This is so dumb. Or yeah, it should have been Uncle Scrooge. Like, what? The game hates me! Can I go into settings and just see? Like... I don't know. I guess I'll go into settings. I don't know. Um... Hold on. So, options. This might not do anything at all, but... Cheats. 
go settings. Um. Oh, I didn't realize you could do this though. You can make it widescreen. That's pretty cool. No! Okay, well, I guess. Even though we have the material to do it. I guess I've never used my transfer pack before, so I don't know if it actually works. It could just be poopy. Yeah, it could be. It's possible. Um. One way to test, obviously, would be Yeah. I mean, the disc. The little reader does, like, move around a bit, so. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Dang, widescreen in an N64 game? That's nice. I know, right? I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, like, th th there's a possibility that it's just not aligning correctly. Well, apparently this does too, which is pretty fierce. Goldeneye has one, this has one. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm just so upset! I was so excited, you guys! I got to use my transfer pack finally and it's not working. It just hates me. Hates. Alright, well, I don't know. I'll have to mess around with it, uh, later and see if it works. Because that is disappointing. But. Alright, cool. Anyway. Let's go back into the game. Uh, I said we were gonna race this Big Mick, because we haven't been either of the mice yet. And we have just- we just did- what did we just do? We just did Frantic Finale, which was pretty tragic. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to Traffic Troubles. And I have a Rainbow Trophy on Amateur. I guess I could try Intermediate. I don't know. Um... But yeah, let's just try intermediate on this because we haven't really seen this today. But um, and we're going back to Indy. All right, rip Kiwi, you guys. And Mickey does feel a lot more balanced than Pete. Cause Pete kind of sucked. He was not my cup of tea. Be better. How am I in third? No one's in front of me. Oh, come on. He was not in front of me. I don't care what you say. So I'm trying to treat this like Mario Kart, and it's not exactly the same. Goofy, no. Oh. Uh. Why is he zigzagging? Why isn't that swell? I couldn't even beat the amateur mode of Frantic Finale. Like, how in the world do you beat the professional mode? Oosh. All right, we did it. We got first. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I do not like losing. I love that. Oh, I'm finding new information. But I don't, I don't know. It says that on the Game Boy, there has to be at least one cup completed in the first place. But there was three files on there that chances of that. No. All right. Unlikely, but maybe. So there's a possibility that the previous owner just sucked and yeah, never. There's, there's a possibility. But 
That's stupid! So wait, what's the requirement? You have to have beaten at least one cup? In first place on the game board. There's a chance. There is a chance. But if they have done that, then I don't know. Alright, you guys. We got first in Indianapolis. Next, we're gonna try and get first in... Wow, all the way at... All the way in San Francisco. Which is not anywhere near Indianapolis. Shoot, I spun out! No! Well, let's start. Baseball. I like this one because it has all the hills. It's pretty cute. I'm not doing so great, but... Okay, at least they aren't rubber... rubber banding with me. And we actually haven't seen this cup today because I started in the middle. I started with a uh, Grand Prix 3 out of 5. Alright, anyway. I'm just so disappointed that it, it wasn't easier than that for the transfer. Transfer pack data! But yeah, like I know in Mario Tennis and Mario Golf 64, like, you have to have beaten certain things on the Game Boy Color version in order to unlock things on the N64 version with the transfer pack. Um, I don't know. It's just like how... How am I supposed to know if my, tr my transfer pack is faulty? Anyway, um, so you're saying I should try Pokemon Stadium to see if it works? The only bad thing is, I don't think I have any data on my yellow cartridge because I just bought it. Well, I guess we have to play through the beginning of Pokemon Yellow to see if my transfer pack works. Because remember I lost that cartridge, I don't know what happened to it. No, I got third! Oh man, there goes my rainbow dream! Hoop but stink! Um, the crystal cartridge, when I bought it, they had just replaced the battery, so there's not gonna be any data on there either. Which I guess, again, I could start one of those today and see. Um... Because it's not like it takes forever to start, but... Um... I don't know, that would just be... Because I could use use it even if I just have, like, one Pokémon, right? Well, that's like at the beginning, though. Yeah. Okay, well that- that's easy then. Alright guys, I guess we can try and start Pokemon Yellow to see if this transfer pack works! Also, good old New Mexico. These dang planes, they never reckon anybody. Chili, were those cables a bit too much for you? Anyway, sorry for all the transfer pack drama, guys. I've just never used it before, so I was really excited to be like, hey, I can use it now. And of course, it's not working like it should! I, that I know! Like, that's the thing! I was so excited for it, so. Right. Ugh. 
I gotta get it to work, guys. Perfect dark. Really? What is it? Just unlock some cheat codes that you can normally unlock in the What? That's so disappointing. Yay! See, I could have. If I would have had first place in San Francisco, we could be on our way to Rainbow right now. Huh. This is intermediate. This is definitely not professional. I, I'm trying to work my way up because, again, I'm still getting familiar with the tracks. I'm still very unfamiliar with the tracks, so I feel like I would be not doing myself any favors if I jumped right to, like, professional. Or I even started with amateur just to get used to them so that it wouldn't be such a slog going into... Dang it! Going into intermediate. There's quite a jump, though, in difficulty between the two. Right! Yeah. It's not. We didn't even beat Amateur 5. Those courses are just brutal. Yeah. I hit Donald with my plane, you guys. I think it's newer though, isn't it? Like, this is 2000, and Diddy Kong Racing is what, 97? Well, I had literally just looked at this, so... <laughs> I can't... I mean, for as impressive as I'd like to sound of like, yeah, I just knew that, like, I, I just tested the cartridge the other day, so I saw that it said 97. I knew this one was a newer N64 game, though. You know, in the N64's um, rain, I guess you could say. Oh, what the heck? Why is he invincible when I had a plane? Really? I mean... Mario, I'm trying to do like the things that I do in Mario Kart 64 and it's not I mean, it's carrying over. I don't mean like how the game is I mean like how the game is Oh. Right. I, that's like true. A cup, a cup system, like it's not like that. Oh, okay. It's my shutter. Oh, Goofy! What, Goof? Dang it! Yeah. <laughs> Stupid baseball. It's like the green shell of this game, because it can hit you, too. Which is really annoying! Alright, I think we have one more track. And then I want to see if there is- oh no we don't, that was it. I want to see if there's data, um, like if they've won a cup or not on those files on the Game Boy version. What did I get? Oh, I skipped over it. Okay, well I skipped over it, but it would have been gold, it would not have been rainbow, so that's not as exciting anyway. Um, okay, let me try something, you guys. Okay. We're back to this. Maybe. If I can get it to... 
seriously? Okay. Chili! What are you doing? Alright, it just read it that time, so that's good. Da da! Okay, how do I look for. How do I look for data? Uh. Okay, time trial, two player game, extras. Trophy cabinet. They have a second place trophy on Traffic Troubles, and they also have... They haven't even played these. Okay, so let me go to the... I don't know how to go to the... Really? That's... Okay, hold on! That's so stupid. Why can't I back out a bit? Intro! Anyway. We still speak English. Let's see if Zach has anything. Alright, you better have a trophy, Zach. This is your trophy cabinet! Inside you can view all your record tracks! He has zero trophies! But the one guy had a trophy. Does oh, it? You need a first place trophy. Are you serious right now? I have to have a first place trophy? This is such BS! <laughs> I need a first place trophy! Oh no! Oh my god, this is so dumb. Alright. I'm about to make Odie grind on this game. I'm not playing this game. You're gonna be better at it than I am! Okay, I'm gonna see if Zack 2 has you any. Can like, beginner mode or something? No! I came in, like, 6th out of 6! Well, you found- at least you found your, uh... This is so stupid. Okay, so I have to- Oh yeah, you're right, it's super dark on here. Yeah. Look on it. I don't know why. No, it's like dark. No. Like, I don't know if the HDMI is poopy. Like, it's so dark. Guys! Oh my god, I keep pressing buttons that I'm not supposed to press. No, nah. <laughs> it's not. I'm looking at the TV and looking at the screen. They're different. I'm not- I, guys, I don't know how I'm gonna do this! Okay, well at least we know that I don't have a first place trophy, that's why it's not working, which is incredibly dumb. Because I've never actually played this Game Boy game before. Um... This is so extra. <laughs> this is so extra! Oh my god. Is there a cheat code that just gives you a win? <laughs> Are you gonna make me look up Vicky Speedway? Yeah, Vicky Speedway USA cheat codes. He's looking it up. How do I? What? What? How do? I, no. No. Get off of this. I don't know how to use my item. Oh, there's widescreen. I don't know how to use my item, you guys. <laughs> oh 
Joyful Ringer, welcome to the stream. I need a first place trophy on Mickey Speedway USA on the Game Boy Color version in order to unlock Huey through the transfer pack on the N64 version. And considering I'm in fourth place by like 10 minutes, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, I just... I'm trying to figure out if my trans- I- I wasn't sure if my transfer pack was working. Cause Odie was saying they're really finicky, but... I don't even have the requirements for the game anyway to unlock the character. So it's kinda like, okay. So the easiest way to test would be to use a Pokemon file and see if it works in Pokemon Stadium, but... The other problem with that is, I lost my cartridge of Pokemon Yellow, so I bought a new one, so it doesn't have any data on it, and I just got Pokemon Crystal and they replaced the battery, so it doesn't have any data on it either. So dumb. Okay. For a game boy. Because a topic. One of the worst games of all time. And if you click on it, and the post just says terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, that's no. the title one of the worst games of all time. The content of the post terrible. Is terrible. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna have to make Odie grind for first place trophy on this game. Getting good at Mickey Speedway <laughs> USA for Game Boy Color? But do would you do it for me? I just need one trophy. Uh, <laughs> need one first place trophy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look how badly I'm in fourth right now. I was in fourth by like two minutes on the last. Yeah, uh, run it for stacked. Run it for the stacked game marathon. I would that wouldn't be a speed run, that'd be a slow run. Like record slowest speed ever. It's so hard to control though. This game is so difficult. It's like RC Pro Am all over again. Like how does anybody get good at this? You have to have this like memorized. Uh, you know, Mickey Speedway and SGM would be so hype. This version though, Shalim? I don't know. I know, that. what if that happens, Pixie? What if it still doesn't work after I get that first place trophy? It says you might need one or two. What? <laughs> Who said I need two? Who? I don't know, this guy. No one knows. That's the problem. That's no the one problem. knows. There's no, there's no definitive information. <laughs> no one knows. So disappointing. Why does it say it's raining? It's a dry, dry desert right now. This game makes no sense. Unless that's my item that I can't figure out how to use. How do I use my item? It's probably like the select button or something, and I don't have a select button on the game cube. Oh my god. Yeah, it must be select because it wouldn't let me. If I press B, it doesn't do anything. Look, I was only 1 minute and 51 seconds over everybody else. Oh wait, no, that was not me. That was the first place. I have two points so far, and they're participation points. Oh no! Okay, what what do we do now? What would be the the, the smartest? B button absolutely has to be. It's not. It's not. You can't use it. It has to be select. I'm serious. I just can't imagine. Like I believe it. But I just, <laughs> I can't imagine, you know what I'm saying? Playing the Game Boy and you press the select button to use your iPhone. I don't understand <laughs> this game! I think select is 
select his map to X and Y. No, cause look, when I do X and Y, it just does this. No, I do L and R and it doesn't do anything. It's not working. You don't have an item right now. When I have an item, it doesn't work! You can switch it to B, X, and Y. It doesn't work. Look, watch. I get an item. I press both buttons. Nothing does it. I just can't use my item. I'm just stuck with the space ball for the rest of time. I don't understand! I don't know how to- I don't know how to play this game. I really don't. Yeah, maybe- maybe it's like golf and the lo lowest score gets a trophy. <laughs> oh! Okay, good. Way too much effort for this game right now. Up. Up. Ow, I'm I'm steering. Well, that would have been nice to know. Up. Oh, it worked. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Well, this whole time I've been steering here, there, and everywhere. I didn't even need to. That's so stupid, though. I need a designated button for items. Like, I just- I don't like the whole, like, oh, use the D-pad that you're already using to also use an item. Like, what if my hand slips? That's what I mean! <laughs> Come on, Rare! Everybody disappears at the beginning of this track, so I never see him again for the rest of my life. <sighs> I'm curious why Rare went with this approach for the camera view for a racing game on a handheld. The few times I played this game a long time ago, I had a hard time being... Yeah, like, you can't even look where you're going. This is so dumb, you guys. Oh my god, that's so bad! Oh no. Well, it looks like the, uh... The guys have, uh... Kidnapped Pluto, still. Um... I already did San Francisco! I'm done with this game. Okay, and I get like- okay, I forgot that Pluto is like kidnapped in this game and that's why you can't play as him, but it just seems weird that you can't unlock him. Like... It warns you about upcoming turns. It does, but it's like, it's too late. By the time you get there, it's too late. Yeah, maybe you unlock, or not even the gold trophies, but with all the rainbow trophies, Pixie. Maybe that's how you unlock Pluto, but no one's ever done it, so no one knows this. Man, I keep running into this train car. Uh. Alright, well, I guess what we can do after this is we can try Pokemon instead. Just to make sure my transfer pack works, because... I don't know. 
I mean, I don't know what to do other than that. I thought I played San Francisco already, but maybe I didn't. gotten rainbow trophies on everything. Why you don't Pluto out on us? How could you? Look, I only lost by 16 seconds that time. <sighs> Total points. Four. <laughs> 28, 20, 12, four. Game over. Dumb. All right, I'm done with Mickey Speedway USA on the Game Boy Color. So is Jilly. Her face is just like, ew. Oh, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see it, where my Pokemon Yellow cartridge is so we can at least test the transfer pack so I'm not losing my mind over this. All right, I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 